I'm just going to get right to the point. Splatoon is one of the best Wii U exclusives to date, with an addiction level that rivals Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. It's also the best third-person shooter I have ever played. I wasn't really sure what to make of this game when it was first revealed. The concept seemed interesting enough. It was bright, colorful, cartoony, and imaginative. But it was the fact that Splatoon was a third-person shooter that kept me at a distance. I've never been good at shooters of any genre. At all. Ever. I avoid online battles like the plague because I just don't have the accuracy and reflexes necessary to compete with my fellow gamers. The only fun I've ever truly had with Uncharted 3 or The Last of Us outside of the campaign was poking fun at myself for the fact that I'm arguably the worst player in my group of friends when it comes to these games. But Splatoon isn't your typical third-person shooter, and if you try to play it like one, you're missing the point entirely. The point of the game is to spray as much of your colored ink on the arena as possible. There's an innuendo in here somewhere, but I'd rather not. Maybe that's the reason there's no white colored ink to be found in this game, though. <coughs> Anyways, spreading ink is crucial. As a kid now, you'll want to cover every floor, wall, and ramp as far as the eye can see in the stuff. Then you'll turn into a squid now to swim freely in your mess and move around faster and climb higher to reach uncovered surfaces as quickly as possible. Being a kid now or a squid now each comes with strengths and weaknesses. So learning to alternate between the two forms efficiently will separate the good players from the bad. Splatoon is a massive breath of fresh air in almost too many ways to count. In an industry that has been plagued for years by dark, gritty, realistic shooters that favor a color palette of literally only brown and gray, Splatoon feels like a fresh coat of paint with its colorful, cartoony aesthetic. It replaces the mundane monotony of kill anything that moves, often found in your average shooter today, with just fire away at literally everything around you and make as much of a mess as possible without any regard for who's going to clean it all up when all is said and done. And as I mentioned before, if you try to play this game as if it were Call of Duty or Halo, you won't get very far at all. This is a game about literally controlling territory, and even though you're bound to run into the enemy at some point to fight over control over commonly sought after ground, you'll quickly find that most of the time, it's better to avoid conflict as much as possible, turn into a squid now, and sneak over into enemy lines Metal Gear Solid style to completely undo all of the opposing team's hard work. The game is chaotic, clever, and fun above all else. Matches are short enough to keep everyone engaged, but still long enough that you can absolutely demolish the opposing team when your squad of squids is on point. Unfortunately, the shooter mentality seems to be plaguing most of the new players online, but I'm hoping this is a problem that will die off on its own as people spend more time with the game. Splatoon also comes packed with a brilliant single-player campaign that gives me a very distinct vibe of Mario Galaxy meets Ratchet and Clank, sporting platforming puzzles and challenges that will teach you to use your squid and ink powers in creative and thoughtful ways. While the plot itself is hardly there at all, this is an exceptionally great place for beginners, as it will teach you everything you need to know about how the game works. The amiibo figures provide challenges that task you with completing missions from the single-player mode, again, but with other weapons, such as the roller and charge weapon. It sounds lazy in concept, but in execution, I found it surprisingly entertaining, as I had to approach levels I'd already completed once in different ways to accommodate the strengths and weaknesses of each weapon. If you want to become a jack-of-all-trades kind of player and learn the ins and outs of the three weapon types and their dozens of variations, this is a good way to do it. While we're on the subject of weapons, your main weapon also comes with a predetermined sub-weapon and special weapon. It's a little annoying how you can't pick and choose your preferred weapon for each slot, but it's a minor gripe. If you're like me, you'll find one weapon that you really like and stick with it, practicing and essentially learning how to effectively utilize everything that comes with it. The shops around Inkopolis allow you to customize the appearance of your Inkling character with shoes, shirts, and headgear, and each piece of clothing comes with its own specific stats that will take effect in online battles. There's not as much variety or freedom in customization as I would have liked, but it's pretty easy to mix and match a style that suits you and stick with it. To my surprise, Splatoon does not offer split-screen local multiplayer, or at least not like in the vein of something like Mario Kart or Goldeneye. 
There is a battle dojo mode that allows you to compete with a friend, but because I'm a loner, I haven't been able to try out this mode for myself. So thank god for online multiplayer. And more importantly, thank god that it works. It's easy to jump into a turf war match with random players, and even if the room is full, you can play a fun little 8-bit minigame on the gamepad while you're waiting for the match to end. And since matches are short, you really won't be waiting that long. I do have a couple complaints with the online mode, however, but it's not with the network code. Lag and random disconnects are rare and have happened to me less in Splatoon than they did in even Mario Kart 8. And it's not that there's no voice chat either. Look, I use Skype and I'd really only want to talk to my friends anyway, so I have no real opinion on this little debate that's been surrounding the game for months up until its release. No, the only real problems I have with the game's online mode are really in just how it's structured. I think it's kind of absurd that you can't change weapons in between matches and you have to back out all the way out of the mode to change anything. This is something that could easily be patched, and I hope it does happen eventually. I also find it a little irritating at the fact that we only get two maps to play on every couple of hours, and they alternate completely at random. There's no way to even vote for one of the two maps available at the time. This means you could go to something like Salt Spray Rig, and I kid you not, six or more times in a row. There's no faster way to kill the fun of a map than to be forced to play on it over and over and over and over and over again. But really, my biggest complaint with the online mode is that there's no option to set up private matches with my friends. At least, not yet. I can still play with my friends by joining their matches, but there's no guarantee I'll be on their team or against them, and a bunch of other random people are mixed into the equation as well. Smash Brothers and Mario Kart allowed me to open private rooms to just play with my friends, so I'm a little surprised that Splatoon doesn't offer that feature as well. Again, not right now anyway. Outside of the online multiplayer, campaign, and amiibo content, that's really all there is to Splatoon. The matches themselves are addicting in ways that I just can't describe with words, so if I haven't sold you on the concept yet, I would highly recommend trying it out for yourself. It's insanely fun, and it's easy to get lost in matches for hours. But with only a handful of maps, I don't really blame people who might be skeptical about the overall amount of content. For what Splatoon offers right now, I would personally say it's worth 60 bucks. But even if you don't think so, this isn't everything. It's already been confirmed that more maps, weapons, and modes are on the way for no additional charge, so if you would rather wait to pick it up later, I can't say I'd blame you but a lot of other players are going to be pretty far ahead of you in levels by then. But to wrap things up, I love Splatoon. I just love it. I love its concept. I love how it plays and how it looks. I'm sorry I ever doubted this game in any regard, because it is just fantastic. I'm terrible at shooters, and I was able to pick up this game and have a pretty good idea as to what I was doing within a few hours of playing it on the first day. So if you're terrible at shooters like me, don't be afraid of Splatoon, because it's not like that at all. You don't have to have perfect, accurate aim, because your target is literally all around you. You don't have to be good at killing the opposing team, because that's not the point of the game. Splatoon offers a refreshing, pacifistic approach to the genre, which I applaud it for, because it's a game literally anyone can pick up and jump right into. Not to mention the fact that it's also one of the first games where I actually prefer to use the motion controls. If Smash Brothers is the fighting game that anyone can play, Splatoon is the shooter that anyone can play. It's just so much fun, and that's what games should always be about in my book. I really, really hope Splatoon sells really well, because it has a certain degree of charm to it that fits in marvelously well with the rest of the Nintendo family. I want to see Splatoon go on to become one of Nintendo's most beloved franchises next to the likes of Mario and Pokemon and Zelda and Smash Brothers and so on. It was one of those great ideas that was just meant to be. If you own a Wii U, do yourself a massive favor and get Splatoon, because this is the next big multiplayer exclusive for Wii U after Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. I can't see myself having anywhere near as much fun with any other third person shooter after Splatoon. If you don't own a Wii U, Splatoon is just yet another reason to change that. It's pure Nintendo magic and fun for all ages at its finest. And even if you don't like the game, or even if Splatoon doesn't sell as well as Nintendo wants it to, let's all just remember something. After this, nobody is allowed to say that Nintendo never tries anything new. Because I believe Splatoon is the new, original Nintendo IP that we've been waiting years for. 
I'm a kid now and a squid now. How about you? Also, I now fully support Inklings for Smash DLC.